What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great, great day. It is, of course, beginning of week number 17 in the NFL, and this is unbelievable. Oh, my Lord. I can't believe how quickly the season has come and gone. And it is kind of crazy. So we have our first injury report for the the week, okay? Now, this is the early one. And there's not a lot of surprises so far on here, but I want to go through the list because the two glaring weaknesses that we had this past week are still there. Brandon Cook, uh, limited, got, it re- got rest. Rico Daddle, limited on his ankle. Semi Fioco knee was a full participant. Stefan Gilmore got rest, limited. That's actually really good news because when you saw him go down, you were like, oh, no, here we go. Uh, Jonathan Hankins, knee and ankle, did not practice. So, you know, don't expect him to be back yet. Malik Hooker, ankle, limited. Demarcus Lawrence, uh, rest day, limited. Jordan Lewis, rest day, limited. Hunter Lipke, thigh, limited. Zach Martin, uh, limited Tyron Smith, oh boy, did not practice. So there you have it. The biggest problems that we have, of course, is missing Tyron Smith and, of course, missing Hankins. Um, you know, the Cowboys are killed, of course. There, there's perception and then there's reality. Um, the perception is that the Cowboys, you know, run defense was terrible and so on. Well, we couldn't stop them on the last drive. I will give you that much without a doubt. But they only gave up 91 yards on the ground in the game to a Miami Dolphins team that is currently number one in the NFL in um, offense scoring. Averaging 31 points a game, we gave up 22. Um, that game was, was a lot of different things. The fumble... Uh, you can credit it to Dak Prescott or Lipke, however you want to. In the first quarter, definitely hurt us. Uh, Dak Prescott being under duress, duress all day, missing Tyron Smith, having terrible games from Peyton Hendershot, from uh, Igota, as well as um, uh, Hunter Lipke. Oh, excuse me, not Hunter Lipke, um, Terrence Steele. We got to do better on the offensive line. Uh, we've got to be able to extend the game. And it also was coaching in that game. Um, but if we can get back Hankins and if we can get Tyron Smith back, we got as good a chance as anybody. If this season hasn't taught people uh, anything, it should have taught them that any team can get beat. There is no juggernaut team that you look at and point and say, that is definitely going to be the Super Bowl champion. There's just not. And this is where just playing a team at the right time and being healthy is going to make all the difference in the world. And so we'll see where that goes. Um, For our Cowboys, the scary part for us is actually the defense hasn't been doing, and they've been playing better competition. Let's be clear. They haven't been doing as much damage. We haven't had a takeaway the last two games and have only had four sacks in the last four games. And that's where we've been able to make hay is that defense has been able to really, you know, destroy quarterbacks, get the you know quarterbacks off the box and giving the offense extra opportunities with the ball. You know, be it we only had one turnover, which is not bad in a game. But we didn't get any of our own, and that was literally the difference in the game. So we need Dan Quinn to dial it up. They did a much better job at stopping the run, but they got to get to the quarterback. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. And this week, going against the Detroit Lions, the Detroit Lions are a really good pass-blocking unit. Uh, I believe they're ranked fifth in the NFL. But if the Cowboys can get a lead and turn that team one-dimensional, we need to be able to let the dogs loose. And we haven't been able to do that this week. And we certainly couldn't do that in Buffalo because we were just behind so badly in Buffalo. Um, things can turn around quickly in the NFL, and they usually do. So let's see where we are. You know, come game time on Sunday, Cowboys have two opportunities, just two, to get back on track. And I hope that they. Get back on track. 
It gets to be hard sometimes when you're dealing with the Cowboys' life sentence. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, as always, you know I appreciate you guys. And um, let's hope for some better medical malfunction news. Peace.